Who is PewDiePie? Known online as PewDiePie, Felix Selberg is one of the internet's biggest stars. He has more than 105 million subscribers to his YouTube channel and over 25 billion views. The PewDiePie channel is best known for its irrelevant gaming content shot in a let's play style. Videos of Shelberg playing video games while giving an expletive stern running commentary. Let's Play became a hugely popular YouTube genre and PewDiePie its superstar. His repertoire has expanded to include live actions and animated comedy shots. But as the Swiss fame has grown, his behavior has become increasingly controversial. He apologized in 2012 for using words such as gay and retard as supposedly playful inserts and for making rape jokes. But after he posted videos containing anti-Semitic and Nazi imagery, he was dropped in February 2017 by his network partner, the Disney-owned Maker Studios. He was also ejected from YouTube's Red Platform and Google Preferred Program. He apologized, claiming his humor had been taken out of context, only to blurt the N-word months later during a live stream in September 2017. Like his videos, PewDiePie's future appears to be disturbingly unpredictable. How did Felix Shelberg become PewDiePie? Felix Arvid Ulf Shelberg was born on October 24, 1989 in Gothenburg, Sweden. His mother and father, Johanna and Ulf, are both successful chief executives. As a child, he enjoyed art and playing on his Super Nintendo. His obsession with video games grew during adolescence, during which he spent a lot of time gaming in his bedroom or at internet cafes. Sweden has a great culture around gaming, he told Rolling Stone magazine in 2015. We are really nerdy people. During his last year of high school, he bought a computer with money he made selling artwork through his grandmother's gallery. He set up his first YouTube channel, PewDie, in 2006, Pew being slang for the sound of a laser gun firing. But as his interest in the channel waned, he forgot his password. So when he returned to YouTube in 2010, he was forced to set up a new account, PewDiePie. By now, Shelberg had learned to edit videos from an online tutorial and uploaded his first Let's Play video of him playing Minecraft. He registered his PewDiePie account while at Chalmers University of Technology in Gothenburg, studying industrial economics and technology management. He struggled to fit in the Chalmers. I had nothing in common with the rest of the people in the program, he told Icon Magazine's Maria Lindon. PewDiePie began to take off after Shelberg filmed himself screaming his way around the horror game Amnesia and began to receive requests from viewers for more of the same. He was soon uploading several clips a day and eventually, to his parents' horror, he dropped out of Shelmos in 2011 to work at a hotel kiosk while he developed his channel. He reached his first 1 million subscribers in July 2012. Two months later, he had 2 million. By December that year, he had signed with Maker Studios a talent network for video makers that provides resources, expertise and help with promotion and marketing. In return for a share of ad revenue and saw his channel quickly grow from 100 million to 200 million views per month. On August 15, 2013, PewDiePie became the most subscribed YouTube channel in the world. Although PewDiePie was overtaken by the Indian record label T-Series for the most subscribed YouTube channel by spring 2019, he retained the top spot for an individually operated channel, surpassing 100 million subscribers in August. A few weeks later, the social media star again agitated critics by backing out of a place to donate $50,000 to the Anti-Defamation League. The social media star said he had been advised to select the non-profit to help quiet the accusation of anti-Semitism, though he preferred to donate the money to a charity he was personally passionate about. In December 2019, PewDiePie announced that he was taking a hiatus from the platform that had propelled him to fame. I'm taking a break from YouTube next year, he said in a video. I wanted to say it in advance because I made up my mind. I'm tired. I'm feeling very tired. I don't know if you can tell. 
early next year I will be away for a little while. I will explain that later but I wanted to give a heads up. Thanks for watching. Like this video if it helped you learn a thing or two about PewDiePie and subscribe if you haven't joined the conversation yet.